بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ یو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی دا ٹاپک آف نائنتھ کلاس دیٹ از فائلم فلتھلمنتھیزز فلتھلمنتھیزز مینس فلیٹ فارمس وچ ٹائپ آف فارمس فلیٹ دے آر فلیٹڈ اور فلیٹ ان دیئر اسٹرکچر سو وی کین سے دے آر فلیٹن دیس آر دا کریکٹرسٹکس آف Platelmintases. The first characteristics: they are flattened. They have flat body shape. They have soft bodies, and the symmetry is bilateral symmetry is seen in platelmintases. They are they are more complex than sponges and nigerians. If we look to the sponges and nigerians, these are the phylums of kingdom animalia which we have studied in the previous lessons. So. They are more complex than sponges and nigerians. Nigerians and sponges are the phylums of kingdom animalia and they were simple animals. They don't have the complex body structures. But the platelmintases are more complex. Why? Because they have some systems in their body. Because of that, they are complex. So we can say they are more complex than sponges and Nigerians. And another characteristic that is aquatic. They are aquatic. Aqua means water. Aquatic pertaining to water. It means that they live in the water. In marine and fresh water. They live in oceans. They, the animals which live in oceans, they are called marine. And also they are the aquatic animals of the fresh water. Some of them or some species of the platelmintases can live in the fresh water. But some species can live in the land. So they are called terrestrial animals. Terrestrial is the opposite of the aquatic. Aquatic means living in water, but the terrestrial means living on the land. Where they can live in the land? In moist places, in soil, or some types can be parasitic. Parasitic means the living organisms which can live in the bodies of the other animals or humans. So the type of terrestrial which can live on the land, they have many types like moist soil. They can live in the moist soil and some types are parasitic which can live in the bodies of other living organisms, including human. And there is no digestive system. They have systems, they are complex, but there is no any digestive system. And they are hermaphroditic. What does it mean? Hermaphroditic means the animals or the living organisms which is or which are consist of both male and female reproductive organs. We have just one living organism. This living organism include both male and female reproductive organs. The male reproductive organs are the testes and the female reproductive organs are ovaries. So we can see both organs, male and female organs in the body of these living organisms. Because of that, they are called hermaphroditics and they have nervous, excretory, and reproductive systems. These are the system which they include, nervous system, excretory system, and reproductive system. Because of these systems, they are complex. First of all, we are coming to their excretory system. So we can say excretory system in the platelmintases. In the excretory system, the living organism remove waste product from their bodies. Now the platelmintases also have this system. And this system remove the waste product. So we can say waste is excreted or removed by means of some structures in their body. And these structures are called protonephrygia. What? Proto Nephridia. Protonephridia are some cells. And the functions of these cells are to remove waste products from the body of the platelmintases or flatworms. 
these structures are called protonephrygia. Protonephrygia, we can say they are urinary, urinary organs, or the organs by which they can remove the waste product from their body. If we look to the protonephrygia in this structure, we can see some cells. And these cells are called phlegm cells. Which type of cells? Phlegm cells. You know what does phlegm, phlegm mean? Phlegm mean fire. Their motions like the fire motion, the phlegm of the fire. So you can see in protonephrygia the phlegm cells. And the function of these phlegm cells is removing of waste products from their bodies. And also protonephrygia balance the water level in their body. Another function. Why? Because protonephrygia remove the waste products. When they remove the waste products, the water balance is controlled by these structures. And some other materials we have like ammonia and carbon dioxide. These are the toxic gases. They have to remove these toxic gases from their body. So these toxic gases are removed by the mean of diffusion. We have another process that is diffusion. So we can say they don't have any respiratory organs. The respiration function is occurred by mean of diffusion. What is the diffusion? Diffusion is the uh, transportation of some molecules from the high concentration to the low concentration. Inside their body, the carbon dioxide and ammonia, the concentration is in high level. Now, these materials must be removed. They must move or transport from the high concentration, which is in their body, to the low concentration. So we can say the respiration or the removing of these toxic gases, which are ammonia and carbon dioxide, Th these gases are removed by mean of diffusion. So we can say ammonia and carbon dioxide diffuses from their body or direct directly from their body. So these are the characteristics of platelimentases and it is the excretory system in the platelimentases. Now we are coming to the classes of the platelimentases. We have three classes in this phylum. The kingdom is the animal kingdom. The phylum, after that we have the phylum, second category, that is phylum platelimentases. And after the phylum, we have the third category in the classification system, that is classes. So we have three main classes in the phylum of platelimentases. The first class is tubularia class, or planarians, we can say. And the second class is termatoda or flux, and the third class is cystoda or tap forms. We will study step by step. First of all, we are coming to the turbellaria class or planarians. Now we are coming to their characteristics. This is the class of the platelimentases. Platelimentases are the flat worms. Now what we, we, we can see what, or we can say what are the characteristics of these living organisms or the characteristics of planarians. Planarians are found under the stone. In the water, under the stone, we can find them. Feed on plants. They can get their food from some plant material and also some types of animals. And these animals are the small animals. From these animals and plants, they can get their food. And no respiratory system seen in their body. They don't have any respiratory system. So the waste products or gases, which are toxic gases, they are removed by mean of diffusion. By mean of what? By mean of diffusion. Diffusion is the process in which molecules are transporting from the high concentration to the low concentration. So they don't have any respiratory organs or system. In that case, they remove the waste products or gases by mean of diffusion from their body. They can move from one place to another place by some structures, and these structures are called cilia. Cilia, cilia are the um, hair-like structures. So these hair-like structures are responsible for their moving. 
and they have two eyes. The planarians or turbillaria have two eyes on the head. In their head, we can see two eyes they have, and one opening they have in the center of the body. In the center of the body, they have one opening, and this opening in their body functioning as mouth and anus. Just one opening which function as both mouth and anus. From this opening, they can eat and also they can remove the waste products or digestive waste products from the same opening. So we can say they have just one opening or one mouth. Also, they are eating from this place and they are removing. It functions both. And they uh, reproduce sexually and asexually. Two types of reproductions we can see in their bodies. Or sexually reproduction, in sexually reproduction, two genders, we can see male and female. And asexually reproduction, uh, in asexually reproduction, just one living organism we can see. There are not uh, two genders. So in asexually reproduction, uh, we have many types. Uh, in the platylimentases, we can see the regeneration type of the asexually reproduction. And they are hermaphroditic. Hermaphroditic, before we mention that, hermaphroditic means the living organism which, which are consist of both male and female reproductive organs, testes and ovaries. So the tubularia or planarians are the hermaphroditic living organisms. Hermaphroditic, they contain both ovaries, which are the female reproductive organ, and testes, which are the male reproductive organ. So ovaries and testes, both we can see in the platylimentases or the class tubularia or planarians. Because of these characteristics, they are called hermaphroditic. Do not forget it. And uh, they reproduce asexually, before we mention that, Asexual reproduction, we can see the regeneration. Regeneration means to make or to mate for the second time. Now, here we have a total complete platylimentase, flatworm from their structure we can see here. Now, regeneration. In regeneration, this living organism is dividing into many parts. And from each part, we can get, we can get other living organisms. Now, in regeneration, the first, this part, when it is divided into three parts, if we divide it, the first part, second part, and the third part. Now, when this planarian divide into three parts, the first part is becoming a complete flat worm. This is the first one. And the second part here, we can see the second part, it is dividing into three parts. The first part, first living organism, it is made from the first part. And the second living organism, or the platylimentase, or also we can say the planarian, is made from the second part. This is the second part and second living organism we can get. And we have here the third part or the last part, and this last part is becoming a complete living organism. So from, from one worm, we can get three worms. So this is a type of regeneration or asexually reproduction. It was your today's lesson. If you have got any kind of question, you can ask in the words of Gurub. Have a good time.